change melee uh, bottom lane because you have the threat of comboing. Complete surprise, he's likely going to be at least one summoner blown here when Smoothie combos. And the question has been, is the communication there between Smoothie and Meteos? For sure it was on that one. Crown moves fast. Oh, he gets smoothie. the stick though. Petrifying gaze. Smoothie gets taken down. Flash and Knight is down. They're on the crown now. But the extra kills. Don't work down here. bottom lane though. Sneaky caught up. Exhaust goes down. Oh, he does keep. Yeah, it was the undertow that takes him down. I didn't think Ambition was going to get there in time. Meteos just on the edge. Shockwave in the mid lane. Petrifying oh. game. Oh. Jensen. He flashes. The oh. Ball. oh, Jensen comes up with a clockwork wind up. And this is back off there, anyways, but uh, not going to be able to capitalize once again. Oh, this uh -oh. could be it for Sneaky. If Smoothie can get in range, it's actually Sneaky's flash that is forced. Doesn't need to call the ultimate out of Smoothie, but Cuve giving impact hell in the top lane here. Could phase dive in, looks for the scrap shield to go down, and he gets the third hit. And Chrono Break stronger in the top lane that Meteos almost stays away from that lane. Set up, why not let him walk into the trap? They're just gonna go after him immediately. It looks like he may stay for the fight enough to die. The heal from Ruler, and that's gonna keep him alive. Sneaky goes down, and Samsung changes this one and puts it right on top of the ball. But now they know they can keep going. Mid pressure is going to be theirs, and Cloud9 is getting suffocated at the moment, whereas Samsung can pick any point of power right now. Man, Ruler with the Jin hits oh. every single ultimate shot. So here we go though, Cloud9 again. Flash in from Smoothie, Ruler's the focus, which means he can get the Mantra Shield from Core JJ. They should both be able to walk out of this, and it's hard to choose a target in the bot lane with all the speed. Impact's gonna go down to another solo kill from Cuve, and now it's the bot lane. Ambition thinking, should we go? Asking the team. It looks like they've turned the trigger on for this one. Cuve teleports to the bot lane, Jensen gets melted. Smoothie's gonna be the next target in the eyes of Samsung Galaxy, and can they bring the universe down on Meteos' head? Yes, they can. 10 to 1, 20 minutes in, and an 8K gold lead to Samsung Galaxy. Cube has been over at that Baron site, 21 and a half minutes in. It is going to be the ward. Smoothie may not be able to do much. Medios is just too far away. And Smoothie may go down on this one. Another hit comes in. Impact goes down. And center, Samsung picking up victories. And coming into this game, Cube and Impact had six solo kills apiece for top lane. Yeah. It's the highest at Worlds, and Cube has just skyrocketed that record. And so they try to match up if you fall behind in the back for themselves, even if it's a little bit too late. As Samsung move in, trying to take the inhibitors down, and Cube still on the 1v1 with impact. Almost getting worse and worse for that top lane. Bot inhibitor's gonna go down. Cube may be able to solo that one in the top himself. Smoothie giving the team a little bit of room to work with. A great shockwave. Samsung Galaxy gonna have to think twice, but so will the rest of Cloud9. Oh. Jensen's almost out of mana. Can't dance this one out too much more. He hasn't really gotten any of his blue buffs this game. They are being combo here. First Nexus turret is falling. Looks like it could be number two. Exhaust to Medios. Medios is saying walk this way, but he can't even get out of the base for them to follow him. He's gonna come up with about a quarter health here. Crown should be able to do the work with Ruler there on his last bullet. Reloading as they head to the Nexus turrets. Impact rolls <laughs> down the equalizer. Says you wanna Got walk him. in, here's the red carpet. And it looks like he's gonna start cooking up some dinner. First one was Crown. Can he find any more? Ruler is down. Now Sneaky trying to get back to the base for Solace, but Cube ties his shoes together, takes him down before he can get there. And it's only 25 minutes in. Everybody's falling left and right. It looks like Samsung Galaxy is gonna have one more try at the Nexus. Yeah, they still have people oh, hitting the, still on the at the Nexus. moment. When you don't know when to leave the party, you keep staying, and you start to become the troublesome one. That's QV right oh, now. Oh, it is oh, ambition oh, that went oh. down. QV, a few more swipes, just a few more HP as well. And they stop. I think this would be an entirely different game. Everything that Samsung is doing right now causes Cloud9 to instantly react. Semi ults flashing forward. Cloud9 has to act immediately. Looking for the kills as well as the Nexus. It's going to be Cube as well. Going for one more kill. They turn around. It's the last few hits. 27 27 for your first game of Samsung Galaxy. Taking out Cloud9. And we were wondering what would happen when the team with the longest game times on average met. Samsung Galaxy, who had the quickest wins across the board. Well, pretty fast win here for Samsung Galaxy. Very, very impressive from Samsung this game. Just across the board, stoic in every single lane. They turned around 
almost an Arcanon combo. If he does not get support, whether it just be vision, yeah. very quickly melt towers. The first turret gold is still on the map here. So if there's a huge fight bottom lane, there's. Oh, you there's were saying? Oh, 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 you were saying? Oh, oh, oh. Ruler flashes over the tidal wave. He goes for a surf, and Core JJ still getting the shots in. Smoothie with 350 health lives on that one with just about 100 under his belt. Onto it, and they secure their kill. Two versus two. Mid lane onto Crown. Ho oh, ho! Cloud Nine says, "King me real quick." And it's a multi. Oh, teleport from Samsung. Onto Ambition, very, very tanky. Flashes are being used here. Tidal Wave flashed out by Ambition. Ooh. Slicing Maelstrom on three members. The Shockwave from Crown and Cloud9 is melting. Impact to the skies and to the back line as he tries to finish Ambition, but it's like he's hitting brick walls left and right. Samsung stay up as five, and Smoothie is the only one standing for Cloud9. And that is going to be the Baron. We set it up so long. The all-in from some of Samsung. A champion composition here. They pull it off, teleport it behind, right on to Sneaky, and that is an early Baron. That was honestly the dream catch on somebody if possible. And the game number one ended just about three minutes ago. This Got one going to go much longer than that as Cloud9 now put on their engage with a tidal wave. The curtain call comes out. That's Azania's and ultimate by Cube, pretty much just zoning Cloud9 off anymore. Engage, we see Meteos go down. He's the front line. That's a lot of squishy health bars, and I don't think Samsung will stop on this engage. Oh. Crown is tanking, one shield, the second command protect, but it's not enough as Jensen comes through with the- Angel up as well. Meteos had already has his, but that just makes ambition yeah. that They're much starting more it. of a beast. Because Impact they is in the bot lane. It. They just want to bait him in, force him for a decision. They have to come through traps and the zone from an Oriana ball here. Look at how fast this Baron's dropping. There's a TP coming in. It's a little far behind. Cloud9's Ooh. gonna try to take the fight. Meteos is in by himself. That was the flash in as well. Guardian Angel comes up. He might be able to tunnel down. And he's not even gonna be able to like, tunnel backwards out of the pit. That means they're pinging now from Samsung Galaxy on that mid lane. That's but we'll such, see how they go. That's such a risk. Giving over more deaths. However, this is gonna be a huge push for Samsung. I think they definitely get inside and get at least one inhibitor. But great setup right there. Dan, if you do, Dan, if you don't, yeah. for Medios, what's he gonna do right there? He had very few, very little time to make the decision. Oh! What a flash! Two down now, Jensen, 60 seconds on the clock. Smoothie just gets auto down by Ruler as they follow up with the damage. He's gonna go ahead and drop the inhibitor as well. Top lane was being pushed by Ambition, but he joins his team now inside the base. 10 plus minutes from game one. Samsung Galaxy making a look or looking to make that repeat. And they take down Sneaky before they look once again at the Nexus. 11 to 4 in game two. The final shots from Ruler to take down the Nexus. And Samsung are up now 2 to 0. Samsung looks so impressive, and they're already making this case. You know, threatening the other team, saying, we want to go very deep here at Worlds. They want to go all the way to the end. Yeah, the way they can take a, a small opportunity and just punish super hard is impressive. There are still holes in the early game, though. And if C9 has learned one thing from this game is that they can keep it even until 18, 20 minutes into the game. And if right. they keep that vision swept and they don't... Bring the spirits back up, but he does lock in the Zach. Way bounced. Poppy let it bounce back to try and punish Impact, but the second Ambition back up from the top lane. Yep. Impact had a free push, but right now he's in danger. Oh! oh the verdict is in! QV, first blood! Again! QV! Let's fight again. Uh, Here now in the, the mid lane, calls down the Reckoning Swing, and now this is going to be a kill onto Jensen! Flash goes down as well, and Crowns is still up. C9 not aware. Down. Here we go, though. Cloud9, team play. Nice tether. Oh, right is dead fast. Presence falls, and Meteos flies right through Eagle Eye. Most definitely hand that blue buff of Samsung's own oh. over to Crown. Top side, though, is the next target. They saw him. They got to run. They see Cordage would never walk up, so he's kind of giving it away. You're absolutely correct. That change in positioning gave it away, but it doesn't matter. Samsung Galaxy going straight under the turret with the denial from Tom Kench. And they just need up. MC9 still have work to do. Looking at this next tower, the lane gang from Medios could be the counter. Look. 
Nice try, but he comes out just on the left of the Abyssal Voyage, not on the Cupcake. Sneaky's the focus here. They're gonna go ahead and get a quick kill over to Ambition. Now over to Smoothie. Ambition very close to going down, and the Boomerang cuts Sneaky down. They're trying to exit the fight now. The teleport does not come in from Impact. It is, however, a double kill for Meteos. They might be able to follow this. He's too low to dive even with another flash as Jensen and Crown basically in the same mindset of the attack. Who's first? Looking for the buckler. Cuvee not even going for the shield. He goes instantly for the kill. Could be eat up. Yes, it's going to be Core JJ once again to deny the kill. And now they're on the blobs. Coming up so huge from cross map, Samsung Galaxy. Basically, Waiki. Uh, Tom Kench was the one who ate that as well. Gobbling up everything and keeps the crown safe. Now they're going in on Sneaky, though. If he can get to Sneaky, actually, Steadfast Presence wears off. It's Smoothie. Smoothie's flash just went down. The rinse and repeat works. And that's the verdict as well that calls for Sneaky to go down on the in game. The Sneaky has to be so careful here. Does not see him coming. Well, there's the hit. Okay, so Crown, Sneaky's having a trouble. He doesn't even get any help because this was so sporadic by Samsung Galaxy to the top side. C9 thought they could protect this one, but it's going to be Medios going down as well. The pass will give them a little bit more trouble. They're going to feed this one over. Yeah. DP in from Impact. It's actually moving, so it works. Yep. We're going to see how they get it. Medios is going to stay alive a little bit Whoops. longer. Good damage coming in from the Soul Flare from Smoothie, but it's not enough to finish anybody off. It just gives Samsung more time to turn around and find the priority target. Three members of Cloud9. Zach Blob, and you're like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, remember, he can tell what I Blob. They haven't gotten the kill. Here goes Impact flashing our Ruler, though. Nice job by Ruler to Spell Shield and knock away, but there's still enough follow-up damage. That's all that Impact is building as he goes for the kill there. Cuvee looking to push these guys out, but they all go right on him. Cuvee's already known the core JJ's coming in, and that's going to be Impact having to flash. Already did. Cannot get over the wall as he attempted to actually to the skies over to one of the Raptors. Oh, oh no! Oh. He says hello. He says goodbye. Says who's next? Says who's next? Sneaky is sneaky next. as well, throwing it up because he says, "Yeah, my team's right here. Let's see how long you can fight for ambition. How ambitious are you?" And that one goes to Jensen. Just get the very easy Drake. Move up for the turret. Objective first. Impact. An impact between a Poppy, a Rock, a Hard Place, as well as a Tom Kench, and he goes down as the second tier in bot lane falls in the two v two matchup. Please. Making him pay dividends here. Tag team here, one in, one out. Yep, one in, one out. Perfect way to call it. Sneaky, just too close right now to Cuve, and that means death oh. mostly. The reset attack by Ruler to make sure he gets another one in. And the boomerang didn't even need to come across, as he said, duck. A flash mm. down, awesome play by Sneaky. Impact's not finished, he wants to get blood. Can he do it? He's gonna waste a shot there. Oh. Almost looking for the, to the skies. Can he get that E shot in? Pushes ambition to the right, switches around. Oh. Finds the kill. What a great hold by C. The bang to this Baron. They're gonna have to burn it down. There's not a whole lot of damage here as well. Be very careful. It's four members. Ambition doesn't have to be up for this fight. And it Whoa. is gonna be very, very low. Cannot even get a range of crown for the poison. Whoa! Going down. Very, very close from impact to get himself a kill, but he falls in the Baron pit with Baron damage. Now they're on a smoothie, and now they're going for Jensen still. Can he get a dissonance on? There's no mana, and Cubase on the chase. Medios goes down in the back of the fight as we swing back to the tri brush, and it's going to be a few more attacks. He puts the protect on. That's a lot of damage coming from the hit. Throws up the C9 Shiner, and he makes it out alive. Samsung Baron. But you can see what Cloud9 were thinking there. They were like, yeah. we have the window. We killed the jungler. You know, they got a lot of the vision down, so they're going to try and burn it and hope that... Jensen Jam and Medios play at the same time. It is too easy of a read, so they need to take a different page out of the playbook. Right now, Ambition being poked. Seeing if he has to blow that Ragnarok. Actually doesn't have it, so he uses the Ghost. He may turn around to fight here for a second. And Ambition, he just came back up. And he goes back down. Turret, and it looks like Samsung is here to stay inside the base. So methodical here from Samsung. C9 left with Soul. Little opportunity. Medios goes in again, but gets stopped. Lock into the Iron Solari, and the steadfast presence pretty much shuts Medios down. Court JJ gobbles him up, and they're going to devour the rest of the blobs. A good attempt by Impact to keep him alive. That's the hit. The shockwave comes in from Jensen, but no members of Samsung Galaxy fall. And now they have to wait for the minions to get on the turret, so they're looking for more Cloud9 members. Looks like with all the inhibitors down, 
All Samsung have to do are wait for the minions to assist. 37.30 on the clock. Samsung having the fastest game times. Keeps them pretty speedy here. Samsung looking for the last Nexus turret. Is Impact doing his damnedest to deliver the damage through the Sock Blast? To the skies in, he flashes over and takes down Crown. That's a lot of front end damage that SSG loses. So Galaxy's gonna have to back out and try their hand again in just a few. It's time for cleanup crew from Cloud9. And they take down Cubay. Here comes Tom Kench looking for the Devour. Getting that movement speed. The flash is forward, actually. They're gonna be able to drop Core JJ on this one. So to go in, they don't get Cubay. That's gonna be a simply too late for C9. They can't line up all the cooldowns. Samsung continually offensive move after offensive move. They've been waiting. Oh, they killed it. They were waiting for Core JJ. Anyone? Each lane, a little hesitation on the bot lane as they drop the last minions of Cloud9 side and C9 to put up their last defense here at 40 minutes into the game. Impact very, very close to going down. Samsung Galaxy is going to be on to the Nexus. 40 minutes in, they came Whoa. in hungry to book their ticket over to the Big Apple. And it looks like Samsung Galaxy will be moving on to the semifinals at Madison Square Garden. And these guys, they started in the group of death. They finished their last three games in that group convincingly. They came into quarterfinals and they take down C9 in such a convincing fashion. They are more than worthy of praise. What a consistently strong team this Samsung Galaxy is. And sadly, this is the end of the road for C9. All lanes from Samsung showing up. Cuve had huge times where he was the star. Ruler and Core JJ both with their moments. This looks like a very, very scary team to try and face in the semifinals, whoever their opponent may be. And these two teams shared quite a bit of the same champion pool. You're the crowd giving much deserved.